According to opinion polls, Andres Arauz, a leftist economist and protege of former socialist president Rafael Correa, is the favorite. The 35-year-old has campaigned to increase public investment. If elected, Arau says he'll scrap the financial package Ecuador recently negotiated with the International Monetary Fund, which comes with painful austerity measures. The IMF terms as they are now agreed by President Moreno will not be honored because they're detrimental for Ecuadorian families. His closest rival is a former banker and seasoned politician, Guillermo Lasso. The 65-year-old is running for president for the third time. He's pledged to create jobs and strengthen the economy. The priority will be to feed the Ecuadorian population. Current President Lenin Moreno will not be running for re-election. He was elected in 2017 on the populist policies of his predecessor, Correa. But once in office, Moreno changed course, pursuing a more internationally friendly agenda, which led to nationwide protests. Whoever becomes president will inherit an unprecedented economic crisis, one that began long before the COVID-19 pandemic. There will be many challenges, from high levels of unemployment and debt to Ecuador's withdrawal from APEC corruption scandals, and most recently, coronavirus vaccine supply constraints. Analysts say it is unlikely any of the candidates will win outright on Sunday. Instead, the top two are expected to go head-to-head -head in a runoff vote on April the 11th. Cristina Muñoz, TRT World, Quito.